video. Happy birthday, first of all. Let's just get that out of the way. Leo season is going to be on this month. So happy, happy birthday, Leos. I just love you guys, okay? But this is also a very busy month. We've got retrogrades, things coming direct. We've got eclipses going on, one of which happens to be happening in your opposite energy of Aquarius. We've got the sun coming into your sign. So just a lot going on this month. So one of the things that you might find out this month is that your earned income sector actually gets really good. Maybe things get really good in your home life or they start to expand or you have some kind of big beautiful change happening there and that's because our benefic planets are going to be at work for you venus will be moving into virgo into your second house jupiter will be coming direct in scorpio lighting up things in your fourth house so this is all very very good for you it could be very forward moving kind of energy for you now we have to keep in mind though mars is retrograde all month long mercury is going to take a retrograde in your sign Chiron's taking a retrograde in Aries and then these eclipses will kind of adjust those things so I just want to get in and talk about it so I can get you out and enjoying July okay right here at the beginning of the month on the fifth we've got Chiron who's transiting Aries right now and when Chiron is transiting Aries we are fighting for a new identity right and this is happening in your ninth house so in your place of broadcasting publishing advertising expanding out maybe just even in your faith higher education education, things with international business. You are fighting for your identity. And I just got this too. Some of you may be learning a new language. So this is definitely changing your identity. How beautiful for you. So there is a lot of change to the identity. Now, when Chiron takes this retrograde and then takes that slip back into Pisces, all of these things are going to come into play, which have to do with one healing the pieces of you that are standing in your own way and they are usually a limiting belief you guys and i know we're so tired of hearing that but it is usually a limiting or a lack of belief in something right do you believe that you can move forward or are you just so tired right now that you're like i can't or is it something where that's gosh that is that just seems impossible so you can't even imagine it right that could definitely be something that's happening here is this a question of faith do you need to look at you know are you angry at the religion you were raised with but you are finding that you think that faith is something different right um is it something in your education whatever it is maybe you're fighting for that degree you're fighting for a new identity here and with chiron retrograde you get to get into the muck of the wound and you get to see what's in there clean it out so that you can move forward and not only have the health and wellness yourself but help another person as well so for a few of you you could actually find yourself being tutors this month in some way shape or form or a mentor of some variety so very cool on the ninth we've got venus moving into virgo lighting up the second house for you she wants to beautify venus is also an energy of money so you could very much so see forward motion in your money making or in your value in your esteem and the things that you value those kinds of things have a lot of really delicious potential here especially because venus is our smallest benefic planet but she likes to bring benefit nonetheless on the 10th jupiter comes direct in scorpio this lights up the fourth house area and now jupiter's been trying to bring you some blessings because he's our biggest benefic planet right so he's always generous even when he's retrograded he's been trying to bring you some benefits to the fourth house which is home family real estate property women in our lives our roots the mother situation your own internal foundations he's been trying to bring you blessings right give you a new foundation a new place to go and it's just been like a trickle now that jupiter is coming direct your domestic world is going to get better and better and better there will be improvements maybe you get the money to finish that that project maybe something wonderful happens and you have a reconnection with someone in your life or something like that your fourth house zone is going to have benefit abundance and wisdom brought to the table and definitely some opportunities as well so if you are looking to move or sell this jupiter energy may be helping you as well on the 12th, we've got this new moon partial solar eclipse happening at 20 degrees of cancer and this lights up your 12th house space so one of the things i keep thinking of is the other planetary positions that are holding power 
um, this month. Saturn and Pluto are going to be in opposite energies of this solar eclipse, which remember the solar eclipse is our new moon for the month. So we plant these seeds of intention. We want new beginnings here. We want this to come out the best that it can be. But remember at a new moon, we plant the seeds in the dark. We don't know exactly how it's going to blossom, right? We hope that because we planted pumpkins, we're going to get a pumpkin, but you may get a white pumpkin, even if you tried to plant an orange one, right? So you don't know, but you're going to get something if you plant the seeds here. With a solar eclipse, it happens over about six months. But with Saturn and Pluto being in an opposite energy here, being over here um, in the sixth house, something to me with maybe spiritual work, um, could be coming to the table. Maybe you're pulling something out of a shadow sector research and you're digging through the details of it. Saturn and Pluto are, are also retrograde and they're very responsible energies. They have been bringing your attention, Leo, to the responsibility of your job, your coworkers, freelance projects, maybe a freelance project that you've been wanting to do and you haven't been exactly on top of. Also your daily routines. You know, are you exhausting yourself or are you getting enough relaxation time in there as well? and your health okay so the 12th house is lit up over here you've got new beginnings and it's right over here opposite some very responsible energy maybe you are having to bring some new discipline some new structure and some new downtime or some new focus or attention to these areas so that they will work out remember whenever we're talking about the 12th and the 6th house in any chart at any time this is mind body soul divine connection energy that we're working with and you may have to focus in on it if you haven't been feeling like you have the confidence to do a certain project or start it or something maybe a little bit of meditation actually will help you or just continuing to work on it behind the scenes and gaining your confidence a little so you can launch it out there could be something that's really beneficial to you as well but whatever it is in this sixth house zone your call to be responsible about your health your job your daily routine is absolutely upon you especially until september where Saturn and Pluto will come direct and they want to see that you did the work that they showed you needed to be done, okay? Now, on the 22nd, the sun is moving into Leo. Happy birthday. Leo season has officially started over here, right? But on the 26th, Mercury is going to take a retrograde here in your sign as well. And Leo, because it's in your sign and because Mercury is a planet of communication, decision making, thinking, all things mechanical, transportation, those kinds of things. And we've got Mars retrograde with mechanical and transportation items. Please be careful and have a lot of grace with other people. They are moving in a backwards retrograde fashion with their communication just the same as you are. There could be misunderstandings. There could be miscommunications. It is a wonderful opportunity for you to misrepresent yourself by something you said. This is in your sign. Or for you to be communicating with someone and they take you the wrong way, right? But what this is a wonderful energy for is to you for you to review, reinvent, reconnect, um, rethink, re-edit, revise you. Leo, how are you moved? This is your birthday time. Who and how do you want to be for the next year, right? Are you done with some of these things that you've been living through through the last five years, definitely the last year, right? If you're ready to move on for those, or if it's just all been so good you can't even believe it, What's the next thing, right? Where are you ready to go next? What's the next adventure? Are you ready for a new hat? Are you ready for a new hairdo? Some of us are trying some new things. You know what I mean? Whatever it is, use your Mercury time to reinvent you a little bit so that your greatest good is always shining forward. Now, at the end of the month, we've got this full moon lunar eclipse happening in Aquarius. And I have to tell you, this is the part of the month that I think actually gets a bit frustrating for you because Mars is also retrograde up here in your seventh house with this lunar eclipse and the seventh house this is frustrating energy because you're you want to move something forward right but this is the thing the energies of mars have slowed us down slowed down our action slowed down our initiation slowed down our movement right and the lunar eclipse says wait a minute something has to be ended acknowledged or adjusted we need a change here we can't move and do how we were doing so there could be a relationship that ends here for sure and it could go go through a fair amount of frustration over the next six months before it actually 
ends. But I more so think that what happens is something inside of the relationship, whether it be business, professional, um, personal, a friendship, um, whatever it is, you're trying to move it forward or it's trying to move forward. And this is not move forward energy. It's beyond pause, beyond hold. Let's enjoy. Let's enjoy right where we're at, right? So and on top of all of this, we've got Mercury retrograde in your sign. It is a great time where you could say something that you don't mean you over speak pay attention if you don't really mean it think before you speak please this month you could damage a relationship that's beneficial to you and maybe another party down the road just because you misrepresented yourself and because things were not able to move the way that you wanted them to so keep that in mind this month okay Leos, I can't tell you enough happy birthdays. I'm so excited for you that it's your season and I'm going to see all the posts and the memes on Facebook any day now, I know. <laughs> so I wish you the happiest of birthdays. Please keep me posted on what happens for you throughout the month, what happened for you last month. I just love keeping up with where you guys are at, where you're coming from, and what your experiences are, okay? If there's anything I can do for you, find me here or find me at stormygrace.com, all right? Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next month. Bye!